Hey everybody, welcome back to Undulations. So, I've got a ton of things that I want to talk about and introduce to this channel, but I want to start trying to upload on a weekly schedule. And to do that, I think what I'm going to do, at least at first, is try and sort of alternate where I do a shorter video, maybe about a little bit more of a random or off-topic thing, and then uh, still stick with some longer, more in-depth videos, tutorials as well. So sort of alternate those. And so this video today, this is going to be a short one. And I've got everything kind of like laid out here that's sort of been on my mind for the channel. I've got new things like Microfreak is uh, super cool. I've got a digitone that I've used the sounds for the channel, but I've never actually uh, done any sort of video about the digitone uh, SP404 SX. Super excited about that device. It's got a lot of great qualities. And then you guys know that I like music a lot, but if you've studied the channel, studied the videos at all, you probably realize that I also have a technical background and that background in science and engineering that sort of colors and informs the videos that I do but it also gives me sort of a way to express some of my creativity that maybe doesn't quite fit the channel um, I like to build things I like to make things and so this turns out to be great uh, I do things that are music related, so like maybe some do-it-yourself stuff like with the Raspberry Pi. Hopefully I'll do an episode on the Sonic Pi software at some point soon. Uh, I've done music stuff on the BBC microchips. I like Arduino a lot. I've got this Electron 4060 that I've barely scratched the surface on. And so I'm a big fan of DIY stuff and kind of more unusual uh, music gear so maybe something on the Nintendo Switch like the Korg Gadget or something to do with the Nintendo Labo there's a little uh, cardboard keyboard specifically on that I like circuit bending a lot and uh, that's something that would be great to do a short video on another thing is acoustic instruments and how to sort of like fold them into electronic music. You'll see a lot of that on Instagram. I've got a new tongue drum that I like a lot. Not sure if you can hear that that well, but I get stuff, some things I buy, some things are gifts or loans, like this lovely harp or that accordion over there. Some stuff I get, like the circuit bending stuff or this cassette player, that's like from the thrift store. and. I'm just trying to keep this channel fresh and interesting. So I've got things that you've never seen, like I was saying, like here's a PO33, which I think is a fantastic device. I want to talk about that at some point. Uh, just got this. A uh, UPS guy just brought this. This is from Teenage Engineering. This is a uh, PO35 Rick and Morty edition. Got to talk about that at some point. So. All this stuff, what I'm leading up to as sort of a big change for me is this. I was at Make Noise Music's site a couple of weeks ago, and I started getting a Eurorack modular put together. And while I've got plenty of CD things like uh, this Nano Garden from Folk Tech, that's sort of, this is like a combination of acoustic and uh, modular and then uh, something like the Como Electronic uh, Field Kit FX, I've got that. Um, lots of CV active things, the No Coast of course, but now that I've got a actual bona fide modular setup, I want to start talking about that some as well. But man, this stuff takes up quite a bit of space. I've got kids, I've got cats, and so kind of getting the modular made me think that something has got to give. So as I mentioned, I like to build things and 
one of the things that I like to build, and I collect them over time, is building kits like uh, here is a laser pegs helicopter. Uh, this is a exploding kitten's house. Um, this is a Minecraft Lego. And the reason I'm showing you these specifically is I had them sitting around. They're taking up space where I would like to be able to put music gear. And so I just went on sort of a building binge and I built all these things. I guess my favorite was this uh, Lego model of the Guggenheim Museum, which is really beautiful. Uh, I do this sometimes to keep, uh, but a lot of times just for the experience of seeing the design and how a model is developed. And so, uh, really big on the Lego architecture. But what I'm leading up to for this video is sort of a intersection of all of this. One thing that I had to build was a flat packed laser cut hurdy gurdy that I just saw floating by on Instagram and decided I would like to try it. This is a, I guess it's technically a type of zither, maybe. I'm familiar with some zithers, I've had some before. And so I built this thing. And I'm gonna show you some of the video that I took from that. I'm not trying to make this a lengthy thing, just wanna to touch base with everybody and let you know that I'm gonna be trying to upload on a weekly basis. And so now we're going to take a look at the build of the hurdy-gurdy. And then after that, I'm probably going to try to mic it with either an air mic or a contact mic and send it through some effects, see if this is a viable instrument to combine with all the rest of this. So thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so here it is. This is the U-Gears hurdy-gurdy. It's a uh, laser cut, flat pack, and I'm gonna open it up, see what's inside. Thank you. 